6.1 perpendicular and angle bisectors. A point is equidistant from two figures when the point is the same distance from each figure. Equidistant means equal distance or the same distance. Equa standing for equal and distant standing for distance. If, this is the key today, if a point lies on the perpendicular bisector, of a segment, then it is equidistant from the endpoints of the segment. So we're saying that if CP, that segment, is a perpendicular, which we can see right there, perpendicular bisector of AB, then, and we can see that it's a bisector because AP is congruent to PB, you can see those using the tick marks, then we can also say that C to A is congruent to C to B. So it looks, it basically makes congruent triangles between the two of them because you've got these two segments of the same length and this is a perpendicular. So then you've got your um, congruent lengths to any point on the perpendicular bisector. The cool part about this, if you could imagine, if I could pull this point and drag it up and down the perpendicular bisector, it would stay equal. Um, the length would change, but those two, those two lines would stay the same length. You can go the other direction as well. So if you know that these two lengths are congruent, these two lengths are congruent and it's perpendicular bisect, or, and it's a perpendicular, you know that it's a perpendicular bisector. It just means you can go either direction. So let's find each measure. Here's our three examples. Find RS. So we've got our perpendicular bisector, which means that P to S is 6.8, which means that R to S must be the same. These two are congruent, so this must also be 6.8. So RS equals 6.8. All right, find AD. Here's my perpendicular. Here's my bisector. So that means that these two links must be the same. So we can set those equal and solve for x. 5x equals 3x plus 14 minus 3x. 2x equals 14 divided by 2. x equals 7. But we're not quite finished. It wants us to know how long is AD. So 5 times 7, which is 35. So AD is 35. All right, last one, we'd like to know EG. So that's that whole length across the top here. This is a perpendicular. I know that these two lengths are the same, which means that F to G must also be the same length as E to F, which means that both of those lengths are 9.5. So 9.5 times two or 19. So EG is 19. Let's try some more. Why don't you pause this video and try example two on your own? What to note about example number two is that each of these examples is using this diagram blank. You don't use one to the other. Don't use one to help you with two and don't use two to help you with three. It's independent examples each time. So pause this video and try these three examples. All right, so if YZ is 13.75, then WZ must also be 13.75. WZ is 4N minus 13, and YZ is N plus 17, so thus, those must be equal. I'm going to do it off to the side here. So 4N minus 13 equals N plus 17 minus N. 3N minus 13 equals 17. Add 13, 3n equals 30, divided by 3n equals 10, and then we plug it back in 10 plus 17, so yz must be 27. All right, wx, uh, find wx when wz is 20.5, wy is 14.8, oh, wy is 14.8, and yz is 20.5, so that means that we can take WY and split it in half. 
So then Wx is 7.4. Okay. The second half of the notes today is talking about angle bisectors. An angle bisector is a ray that divides an angle into two congruent angles. Remember, the synonym for congruent is equal, so it's dividing it into two equal angles. If a point, so like say this picture right here where AD is cutting this angle in half, if a point lies on the bisector of an angle, so we've like point D, then it is equidistant from the two sides. So that means that B to D is congruent to D to C. So if point D lies on the perpendicular bisector, then those two perpendicular lines create equal lengths. So find each measure. Find the measure of GFJ, GFJ. So if this is seven and this is seven, that means that those two are congruent. They're on perpendiculars to the perpendicular bisector. This angle is 42, so that means that these angles much must match, which means that that angle is also 42 degrees. We would like to find RS. So we can see that these two angles match. We've got our perpendiculars, which means that these two segments must be the same length. So 5X equals 6X minus 5 minus 6X negative x equals negative 5, divide by negative 1, x equals 5. And then now it wants us to find rs, so I could plug it back into this one, or I can much quicker plug it into this one. 5 times 5 is 25, and these must match. You can plug it in here. I'll do it for posterity. 30 minus 5, which is 25. So rs is 25. Thank you.